Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so today we got a 2008 Hyundai Accent. Customer complain that the car is heavy and jerks upon acceleration, higher RPM. So I'm just doing our health report and see if we can find some codes here. And it has the odometer reading is 193486 okay so we got some codes here uh, emission system high purge flow also high purge flow and we got a kick down servo switch open a short to ground that's transmission side and input turbine speed sensor circuit no signal okay um i'm just gonna go back here because we're gonna try to drive this and see what this heavy jerking i'm just gonna go to our obd2 And let's go read fault code. Okay. So we st we got that high purge flow. That's okay. Maybe it got stuck open there. Um, let's go to our monitoring test results. I just want to see if there was misfires on this misfire zero okay it's all zero that's good um for the purge valve we're gonna try to actuate that right let's see if it moves um, and we got codes for a transmission too so we're gonna try to gather some data for our transmission side um, let's see if we have transmission fault on this one and yeah see from there okay so we're gonna actuate our purge valve um, our purge valve location will be in this one here the back side of the intake so i'm just gonna do the start now that one is clicking yeah that's clicking but my data is not showing anything here Showing zero. Anyway, yeah, Mr. Purge State. Surface on okay. Let me stop this guy here. Let's try the can the close valve if something changes there. can hear that here on and off oh, stop. canister 
close to flower. No, it doesn't do that. But this one, I can hear that it clicks. And you guys can hear that, right? Yeah. But my question here is, why my debug purge percentage here at, at least if it's clicking it should show 0 to 100 right now so I'm gonna start that again but we get 0 and uh, now it's just a two wire um, let me try to start the car So, when I was trying to uh, raise the RPM, we can see some changes here in our data. And also, I can see only at least maximum 3% on our pre purge bulb, alright? But if I'm gonna command it, okay, so I'm gonna command this guy here. Unless the car is too old, it can't detect that kind of <laughs> data. I can hear it's clicking. Right? It's clicking though. So you know what, what I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna try to remove that hose because that's a normally closed valve, and then let's try to see if it's leaking or not. Okay, so I checked our resistance value on this one, um, it's working because we know that it's clicking. So I just went to search our database, and they said that with that high flow description code. There's a possibility that this one got installed reverse. Um, you can see here there's a mark there, some scratches. That's where I tried to remove the hose. That's on the intake side. And if I'm gonna remove this cover here, See that arrow 
so that ours should be facing towards the intake so what we're gonna do is <clears throat> I'm gonna install this in that way right this one is going to the intake and then we'll see right okay so I reverse our um, perch valve insulation and we can see the difference right now at idle we got three percent because that's what I know um, the purge valve should be pulsating on and off and our purge state is on unlike before it was staying off right um, so there you guys can see that and if I'm gonna raise the RPM last time it was just staying at three something percent and now if I'm gonna raise the RPM it's gonna go up higher than that So that's good so I think I'm happy with the purge side I think that's that should be fixed we're gonna try to drive that next is we're gonna check our transmission codes okay so for our transmission codes we got kick down servo open short to ground that's P1709 and P0717 input turbine sensor circuit no signal so I read the description for that um, P1709, the kick down code, and it says here um, computer will off the kick down when second and fourth, and on on first and third. And the computer will set the code if it gets reversed. So, when the kick down is on at second and fourth, and off on first and third. So, Let's look for that data, if we can find that data, okay? We got kicked down right now there, that's on. Um, shift lever, let's go with that. Uh, okay, let's so far, so far let's try to see that. So we can kick down on here, shift position, PN and R. So if I'm gonna go reverse, neutral, I'm gonna go drive so that turned on quickly right so it says here first gear it should be at on and third gear that's what the normal ones or the computer so right now first gear it turned off I'm gonna go reverse I guess I need to drive this and see yeah we're gonna try to drive this and before doing driving and everything let's check again that area on the transmission okay I can see there's some new wires there um, I think that's for the turbine speed input and the the kick down so let's see that wire and there's some quick checks as for the service information remove the connector ignition on and there should be a 12 volts right so if there's a 12 volt we can go for a test drive if we cannot find a 12 volt so we're gonna be dealing for our open circuit for that kick down so let's do this let's try this kick down first because i think it's pretty straightforward and this input turbine sensor signal let's see that too maybe we are dealing also our open circuit because i think they replaced that sensor too okay so i remove our kick down connector this is our guy here but underneath there I can see like looks like a brand new wire um, let's just double check the voltage on this one so we have the 12 volts there probing that ignition on right now and I have 11 volts right that's good at least we know that there's no open on that circuit and there's no short to ground right because if I'm gonna reverse my meter if I'm gonna 
prove that if I will get 12 volts not short it to ground but I have only 1.6 something like that so I think this should be fine my showing should be 12 volts though so battery voltage 12.3 Seven. I don't know if that's a good reading, but at least there's voltage there. So now um, I'm just gonna put everything back together. We're gonna drive it and see. Alright, guys, we're driving the highway right now because it's complaining about higher speeds. So let's see what's the reading on these guys right now. So I can see right now here. Our kit down switch is off at third gear earlier, right now off at fourth. And the reading should be on and first and third gear. Okay. So now we have to check that component. Um, let me let me wait until it goes to third gear. Downshift or something like that. Okay, that's third gear right now, and you can see that kick down switch data is still off. I don't know if you guys can see that it's much clear. So I guess that's why. And plus, with our maybe for our perch valve, I don't know if that can affect with the shaking. I'm not sure with that, but. I know for sure that the perch valve was reverse installed. I don't know when was the last time they installed that or if they recently installed that. Because I know if where the arrow points, that should be going towards the intake manifold, right? Especially if it's using the vacuum of the vehicle, of the engine. So see anything I think it's much clearer about the sun let me move it here same thing so right now fourth here and then I go accelerate so it should downshift that's third gear but our kick down switch staying off right I guess that's why we have that code for a kick down, um, kick down switch. Second, our turbine, it says there, um, input turbine sensor, no signal. I graph our input speed, output speed, right? I get some signal there, which is good. I didn't see any dropouts yet. city driving and see if on first gear it's gonna be the same it's an off position because it should be on okay right now I'm on first gear my kick down switch it's at on position because if it's a component issue if I'm thinking that should also happen on the first gear but on our first gear see that kick down is on second gear it turns off let's see so we're gonna go through to the each of the second gear off 
third gear staying off see that here third gear it's off first gear back to on first gear on second gear off that's the third gear still off third gear So late to shift at fourth. Oh, there you go. Shift at fourth, and it's an off position. So, question now is, why on only on third gear that staying an off position? And our normal readings, as per the service information, first and third should be an on, and second and fourth should be at off. So third gear is still off. Fourth gear, accelerate. Third gear, nothing happens. Still, the kick down switch is off. Right? So, at least now we know that there's something going on. Let's try scanning the code. See if we have the code now. kick down servo switch open or short to ground um, the question there is is that 12 volts will turn off when when it hits third gear something like that or because earlier we just did it in the bay that you know that we measure 12 volts um, so I'm gonna ask for more information before we go um, ask for new kick down switch or whatever and go ahead and further diagnose this because what I'm thinking right now is that 12 volts that I was measuring with my meter for me it's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive it through each gear right monitor that voltage reading and see if that one will stay present all the time or something like that or what what's going on on that voltage when it hits third gear right so yeah I'm gonna ask for more information and then we'll see on what will be the repair on this vehicle if they say that they didn't replace the servo switch or the kick down if it's an aftermarket i'm gonna try to tell them that okay let's do the oem one and see from there but yeah we'll see